Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Trust plugin. Uh, my name is Nathan Wilkerson and I am the creator of the Medic Trust Medic Wall and Medic Foundation plugins. And today I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, overview of the trim tool, which is a little tool right here. I'm going to pull this out. Um, I'm sure you've seen this before, um, but I don't think a lot of people are aware of what it can do. So anyways, uh, this is part of the Trust plugin and it's, there's a trim member and an extend member function and right now the extend member function is still under development so I, uh, <coughs> I'm not going to try to overview that one but the trim member uh, actually works quite well and I wanted to show people what you can do with that so what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a quick uh, model of a rafter type roof uh, basically just a very simple kind of T-shaped structure so we've got one roof that's uh <coughs> going into the main roof and uh, basically, I just created these uh, what I call roof primitives very quickly. Three points, boom, boom, boom. Uh, same here, and I just stretch this one all the way over to here just because I can. Um, but <coughs> basically, you can see that, you know, right now the, the Trust plugin does not have the ability to handle complex roofs yet, and of course, I'm working on that. But in the meantime, uh, the trim function it might be a useful tool for those of you that are trying to do more complex structures like this. So the next thing I did is after I created that, I jumped here into this um, uh, assembly and I just grabbed this hip rafter and I pulled it or copied it and then pasted it um, basically 16 feet back in to create my uh, valley uh, rafters. So you'll notice I've got that on both sides of the uh, of the secondary roof so um, and you know it's probably not quite right but it's uh, it, at least position positionally wise in the XY plane it's right so it will allow me to create the cutting planes for these uh, rafters that are intersecting it and you can see right now it all intersects it so let's go ahead and uh, try this out um, basically just hit this and now you're gonna want to select your trimming plane <coughs> and you'll notice that it highlights in green as you mouse over any plane that you can select. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this plane right here. And now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and select. And notice it stays highlighted, the plane that you're going to use your trimming plane. And then you just select an edge or a kind of a face of the member that you want to trim and on the trimming side that you want to get rid of. So you see that one disappeared. And by the way, if you do make a mistake and you trim the wrong side, you can just jump out of the tool and hit undo up here and <coughs> it'll uh, reverse whatever changes you made. Um, and you'll notice that I made it so that the uh, face stays highlighted. So you can keep on trimming. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim this one back. And just go jump right on up here and trim that one. And that one. Okay, so now we can hit the space bar and that'll take us right out of the tool. And then we, you know, go ahead and click this again. And that's one way of doing it. And also, if you don't want to have to click this again, you just hit the escape key, which is generally what I do. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and click this face now, and we'll go ahead and trim back uh, <coughs> these other rafters here. So you can see it's quite painless, pretty simple to do. I like to select the edge just because I know I've really got my mouse on the, <coughs> on the member. <coughs> Okay, so this time around, though, what we're going to do is we're not going to hit the space bar. We're just going to hit the escape key. As soon as we do that, now it's back to the um, first stage of the, of the trim tool where it says click the plane. Okay, so it allows you to click the plane again. So we'll go ahead and click this plane. <coughs> and we'll go ahead and trim these ones back here. Okay. And you can see that's pretty painless. Hit escape. And now we are going to select this face as the cutting face. And we'll go ahead and trim these ones back. Okay, so, so there's not a lot of manual editing other than just selecting some members to trim. <coughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and select this face. And I'm going to trim this one back. And I'm going to I'll jump on the other side and trim this one back. Okay, now what I've done here, I'm going to uh, escape, escape again. What I've done is with this particular fascia board, subfascia, I've copied it and pay or copied it and then pasted it in place. So I actually have two copies sitting on top of each other right now. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because what I'm doing is I'm first going to cut one of them, 
to this face here. Okay. And when I do that, you see that line there. What you're actually seeing there is, is two copies. So this copy has been cut. This copy is still projecting all the way through. But what we can do now is go over here and <clears throat> hit escape, select that face, and then now you see we've removed the piece that was in the center. So now we've got the subfaces running right up to where they should be. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty much it. Um, what I'm going to do though is here at this intersection, I think what I'm going to do is, um, let's see here, let's go ahead and hit escape. Let's select this face and we'll cut the ridge board to that. And then we'll also cut this one to that. Okay, perfect. So now you can see that it all kind of lines up. <coughs> right. And then, of course, these will go away. So let's go ahead and jump out of the trim tool now and see what we've got. Okay, so now we've got pretty much what we need. The only thing that I would do now is jump back into this uh, assembly and just go ahead and, and delete these unnecessary uh, common rafters, as they're called, and any other. Uh, and actually, you know, you could just you know, do this sort of thing and, and delete them. You don't need them. That's already an assembly. Let's grab the rest. Yeah, there we go. Got them all. Okay, so I think... Let's see here. Oh, the reason why it's showing the other box because I, I have I'm not showing all the uh, sheathing and cladding, but we'll do that another day. Anyways, um, <coughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just now generated a complex rafter roof, uh, nicely trimmed out. Granted, uh, you know there is a couple issues here I got to work on. Also, the, the this valley rafter probably has a slightly different uh, layout with the uh, the bird's mouth cut that might need a little adjustment. Um, and also right here may be done a little bit differently. But overall, um, the geometry is right. Uh, they're all trimmed back to the correct place, and the roof planes are all lining up like they should. So there you have it. In about five minutes, you can uh, you know, generate a complex rafter roof simply by using some roof primitives and using this little trim tool right here, which you know is a pretty handy little thing. Uh, the one thing I should note, though, is that when you use the rafter <coughs> roof, you know, it creates these <coughs> components. And so before you start trimming, the one thing I forgot to add is you, you want to take and these components that you're trimming, you want to make these unique. So what I actually did first was I made sure that these, uh, this, this one as well, were unique. And, you know, you just right click on it and say make unique. Uh, and also these ones here, and then that way when I trimmed them, I wasn't affecting any of the other ones within the uh, model. So, um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and post this uh, model up on the warehouse so people can take a look at it. And uh, if you have any questions, just give me a call or give me an email. And hopefully this was a little bit helpful to you guys and uh, allows you to do some more complex modeling of roofs, uh, which currently the plugin is a little bit limited in that respect. So, thank you.